you guys welcome to my channel if you are new my name is marissa ray thank you for tuning in today as you can tell we got a little bit of ginger and reddish orangish gingerish colors going on with the little 90s inspired look you know the swoop bang my little flips that's what we got going on this is a wig that i had got from Amazon it was a 613 wig and I colored it all that stuff so I am going to be showing y'all today how I did this color using the watercolor method using three different colors y'all will see I will explain in the clips later I'm gonna show y'all exactly how I did the water method I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of the cutting um, how I cut the hair how I kind of styled it and then I'm gonna show y'all at the end how I kind of got my swoop so I hope you guys really 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 enjoy this video I love this color um, I really think this color is cute especially on like a brown skin it's so cute it's vibrant but it's not like too much plus it was perfect for a little birthday bang you know whatever so I love the color hope y'all enjoy um, yeah that's all so let's get to this color all right, y'all, so I'm starting off with Adore, Cajun Spice, French Cognac, and Cinnamon using those three colors. Now, I have this 613 colored wig. Um, it's a full lace, well, not full lace, a 13 by 6 lace frontal wig from Amazon. 613 hair is obviously better for color because it just takes all the color. You feel what I'm saying? So you want to start off having your gloves of course because you don't want your dye to get all over your hands and a t-shirt that you don't care about or towels, whatever. So I'm dipping the hair in the water, hot, hot water from the faucet first because I just saw that it makes the color take better I guess. Um, yeah, this is my first time doing this by the way. So I'm starting off adding the French Cognac in. I didn't use all of this bottle in the beginning. I just used a good amount. Then the Cajun Spice. The Cajun Spice is a little bit more reddish or whatever. Then I'm going to go in with the Cinnamon, which y'all can tell is a little bit more brown. They all kind of low-key look the same there, but whatever, you know. When you mix it all together, it creates a cute color. So I decided to use a wide tooth comb and stir it all around because I didn't want to get one of our spoons um, messed up, you know, and died on and all that good crazy stuff. So I'm going to take a paper towel and test out the color. This was a little bit lighter than what I was looking for. So I was like, eh, eh, let me add some more. So I decided to add some more Cajun Spice. And I think I ended up adding all of the Cajun Spice in there. That's why the hair turned out a little bit redder than I expected. Um, yeah, I feel like if I would have used more cinnamon instead of Cajun Spice, the hair wouldn't be so, so, so super red. Um, but yeah, so as y'all can tell, it did start to get a little bit darker, which was what I was looking for, but not quite yet so I decided to add a little bit more French Cognac which y'all can oh and cinnamon <laughs> but y'all can add as much color as y'all want and whatever color you feel that is going to be good just add that so lastly this is the color we got and this is perfect this is the color I was wanting it was nice and deep and all of that so I'm going to be dipping the wig all up and down up in that water um container in the bucket and if i didn't mention this i used hot water from the faucet you want to use hot water excuse me you want to use hot water and just dip that hair all up in there like you got to swirl it around don't worry about your lace if you're doing a lace wig like me don't worry about your lace because it did not color my lace whatsoever not at all it didn't even color my lace at all which was good um the knots were reddish you know because it's hair but the lace itself didn't even color it so you want to make sure you are literally separating the hair like I'm doing and make sure that hair is getting all around don't just let it sit there at first like literally mix it all around dip it back and forth twirl it around all of that jazz and notice how it started to get so much deeper here this is why I was like oh my gosh I shouldn't have used quite as much Cajun Spice but I still end up liking the color it was really cute um so yeah and then I left it in there for probably like a good five minutes afterwards 
um, then you just want to wring it out get all that color out and place it back on your towel or your um, t-shirt or whatever get all that color out you know all that make sure it doesn't get all over the place because this is semi-permanent dye so it can be a bit messy sometimes um, yeah so you just want to dry this off all I'm gonna do is use a conditioner I didn't end up using shampoo so instead I just decided to use the Garnier fruity slick and shine conditioner and I think this worked just fine so um, I rinsed it out I washed it left the conditioner in there for maybe about mm, 20 minutes and then I rinsed it out really really good make sure all the color was out um, here is me just kind of showing y'all what the colors looking like basically this is obviously before I styled it and you know got the little style that y'all saw in the beginning so yeah this is the color part two of this video I'm gonna leave in the description box below um, as soon as it gets uploaded which should be soon because that's where I'm gonna actually show y'all the cutting the styling I didn't show y'all how I applied it but I did show y'all how I pretty much styled this hair and cut it the way I did and all of that in the bob so I'm getting my little skills up y'all you know with the styles and the, and the cuts and the color whatever you know talented period talent 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 okay so I'm not really doing nothing here y'all just make sure if y'all want to see how I actually got the cute style at the end check the link in my description and make sure you turn your post notifications on so that you know once that video uploads because the styling part honey that's that's the cute part that's that's the part that you need so you know how to style it and make yourself look cute or whatever I didn't show y'all how to apply it but I do have a previous video on how I apply a wig although I did it different this time hmm. well anywho just just check out my videos y'all I got some good content so that's all period poo okay I'm gonna stop talking now cuz I ain't doing nothing just showing y'all okay alright y'all so that's all for the video hope y'all enjoyed getting in this little cute ginger color ginger spice as my mama would say that's all I have for today this color the styling let me know if you guys like it if you guys have any questions any other opinions whatever the case may be let me know what's up with that comment down below like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications also if you haven't already follow me on instagram my instagram name will be somewhere on the screen here and also in the description box below so with all that being said this is the look this is her this is she how you feeling it i'm feeling it so that's all I got, okay? Thanks for watching. Subscribe and give me a big thumbs up if you do want to see me do more colors. Hmm, interesting. Okay, that's all I got. Talk to y'all later. Bye.